Okay, the fifth technique is also a gun to the back. We'll do it in several different angles. This one here is, like I said earlier, basically when you have a gun to your back, you're not always going to know which hand the guy, the attacker, has the gun in. So basically what it amounts to is if he has the gun in his right hand and you spin around, Kodagosh, or the first one, Flying Eagle, will be the, what you do. If uh, he has it in his left hand and you spin the same way, you will go into this technique that we're getting ready to do. That is why we have two gun techniques from the rear. Okay? Back this way first. Okay, now I, said I, can, I have to spin this way both ways no matter what. If I get it, whichever hand he's in, that's the technique that I'll go into. But this is technique number five. Okay. And what I'm doing is I'm spinning this way. It makes the gun miss. This hand comes up while this one covers. And I lock the arm and down. Take the gun away from him and point it at him. Notice a little bitty of body drop right there. Okay, slowly, it goes here. Body drop. Yeah. The attack down, using fingers to keep him under control at any time. Very simple, very easy, very painful technique. I'm not even applying this, but about half strength, and you can hear the UKs, is in pain just with that much. So if you apply this 100%, you're probably gonna break his wrist or forearm or both. Just because of the body drop, you're putting all your weight into that lock. At the same time, you're snapping down with the sharp edge of your bone right into the wrist. Here. You see the gun's pointed away. You can take it away this way. Any way you want, using the fingers. Point it down. You can make him do anything that you want to do. You want him to do. Keep it pointed away at all the time. Okay. That finger in that gun, that's the most important part. Go this way a couple times. I step back. This arm comes up, comes underneath. I grab, down. Grab the gun. Point it to the attacker, I can do anything I want to with it. If the gun slips out, say what you just did right there, you can always be ready. Use finger locks this way. Doesn't matter. Finger is a very good tool to use. If you do this very combatively, you're going to tear his finger off or rip it to shreds, one of the two. Knowing this is a wooden gun, we, he would have a real gun in his hand. It would make it that much more painful. Put here, real tight. Damn. Want the gun? Any way I want to turn it. I have him. You can just dance him around, do anything you want to do with him. Lock him up, anything you want to do with that finger. Just take your time with it. You don't want to go fast. Okay, one more time that way. Way. Noting where the gun barrel goes, you should be able to see it when I turn. Just take this step and turn. Okay, it's myth. This hand comes up. Do anything you want to with him, he'll go with it. Last time. Note one other thing. Just as well as with the knives, you have strikes that you can do. One of the good ones for this one, of course, is very obvious. As you step through, wham, eye strike to the eyes, or palm strike, punch, any of them things would be good as you turn, drop and rock. Okay?